Hey, this is Wax at from the MV Nation with a, another video. Uh, this one's going to be the 2000 XL, the MPC 2000 XL, translated to the MV 8800, the uh, MIDI timing with swing and whatnot. Somebody asked about it in reference to an MPC 3000. I don't have one, so I'm going to do it with the 2000 XL. Uh, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. I'm not going to go into real detail what I do with the 2000. I'll just explain it real quick. Um, real quick, I took a pattern on the uh, 2000 XL. I uh, the 16th note straight on the first track and copied that out 26 times. And then I went back to the first one, left that at 50% swing. Next pattern changes to 51% swing. The next uh, track change this 52% next track 53 and so on up to 75% then I did uh, on a track following that I did eighth note straight copied that out 26 times and went back 50% left the first one alone 51% 52% 53% swing so on and so forth so at the end of the day I got one sequence with like 52 tracks and the first 26 are 16th note swing from 50% to 75% next 26 are 8th notes with the swing from 50% to 75% I saved that to my compact flash in the front uh, put it in the reader saved it you know transferred to the computer that uh, simple MIDI file there that I saved then I burned that to a CD put it in the MV over here loaded the um, simple MIDI file up and what I got was basically the tracks you see here 50, 60, was it 16th notes at 50% all the way to 75% on track 26 and 20 tr track 27 on the MV 50% eighth notes to 75% eighth notes now uh, real quick um, I'm gonna tell you something that I noticed with the uh, swing of the MPC and it translated perfectly to the MV is that on the MPC the tick movement with the swing does not start until 54% meaning that on the MV uh, on the MPC rather if you're familiar with it 50% uh, 51% 52% 52%, and 53% the ticks were 0, 24, 48 and whatnot the same to those first percentages then at 54% it changed to 0 25 it moved by one tick if, if, if you can understand what I'm saying uh, since the MV is a multiple of five of the MPC because of the uh, sequence is 480 instead of um, 96 which is a multiple of five so what I got was 0 125 instead of 0 25 and then 240 356 if that makes any sense to anybody, if you can follow me. Because what it would be on the MPC would be 0254873 as opposed to 0125240365. They're all multiples of five. It's just a little math involved. But um like I said, that doesn't happen until track or 54 percent um, I'm going to go into eighth notes real quick because it does something funky there too uh, let's see here event list all right, all right that's 51 percent at 52 percent you can see the ticks move um, to 0.45 instead of 0, uh, 
So 51, 52% is 0, 245. 53%, it moves 5, 6 to 250. 255 to 50, 54%, 260, 55%. Again, this lines up perfectly with what the uh, MPC is doing. Um, that is basically it. What I actually was going to try to do, and what did not work, I was going to try to see what those percentages equaled on the MV. But for some reason, on the MV... When you go to lay stuff in like a, a shuffle type swing, um, the the ticks stay on solid eighth notes, and then when you move them in the event editor, when you, when you move when you change the swing or whatever, and the event editor doesn't show up, so it's doing its magic in the background. It's not showing you what what the percentage of the uh, tick movement is. In the MV. If anybody knows how it, I don't know, these numbers can translate somehow and it moves around the MV, let me know. But I, I can't figure it out. Uh, like I said, with those numbers, you can pretty much know on your, on your hi-hats and stuff and even on your bass drums, where we, your notes want to fall on eighth notes and sixteenths, the percentages, if, if you write them down, like say 69%. Or sixteenths, you'll know that uh, 165, 405, those are your swing notes, your um, even notes. And that would be a 69% swing on an MPC. Um, if anybody can do this, it has a 3,000 or 60, and see how these numbers shake out, be my guess. If anybody wants a copy of the MIDI file, uh, just PM me or whatever. And drop your email and I'll email it to you. Um, I'm trying to think anything else. Uh, yeah, the timing shakes out perfectly. Uh, and play around with some of this stuff. You can, um, I don't know, you can, you can add multiple tracks or whatnot. And see how they sound against each other. Different percentages of of um, stuff playing together. And whatnot. But that's it. I'm out.